immediately grab your cell phone, voice memo, and sing it into your voice memo. Because by the time you get home, you can forget, if you don't sing it continuously. I've had you know I've written songs right on the road. Oh my, I'm in the car with no tape recorder <laughs> before these cell phones. So you start honking, before you start the making cell people crazy. Like, get out of my way, I gotta get home. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Without further ado, going to tonight's incredible guest, Country Yossi. Country, thank you so much for joining me. Listen, a little bit of uh, background. Country, also Yossi Taiv, a known professional as Country Yossi, is an American Orthodox Jewish compose, composer, singer, radio show host, publisher, author. The list goes on. What did I leave out, Country? <laughs> I left out something. You now, left out mechutin, the... Mechutin, m- m- That's m- not m- in there. Yeah, put yeah, it up. Yeah, on, put it in. Put it up there in Wikipedia. <laughs> well, part time mile and uh, kugel <laughs> fresser. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for the hint about that. I'm not going to let you down. But it's not Luxion Kugel. It's okay. No, but it's amazing. I come in here, I smell Kugel. I say, what's going on? Is there a kiddish going on here? Is, it, is, this, uh, is this a marketing company or is this a caterer? <laughs> now, we're airing on Sunday nights. So you're going to give me some slack for not serving you ch 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 give you a pass on that one this time. <laughs> Country, thank you so much for joining me it's here. It's a pleasure being here with you, Yitzhak, and uh, very impressed by your offices here. Thank you. I mean, this is major league. This is thank not a you. joke. You thank know, you. Anybody that hasn't tuned into this show should give it a listen because you're going to be very impressed. Thank you. Well, it's great to have great guests. I mean, that certainly will get my ratings up. And, I, and um, you know, I'm going to jump right in. Gar. Having someone of your ilk, your stature, begs the question, say, was there an aha moment in childhood as you're growing up? Say, I mean, did you imagine what you would accomplish? I, that's, I, I'm kind of jumping into the deep water before, you know. I, uh, <laughs> it's a good question. And uh, the truth is, uh, you know, I never anticipated I'd have a career in radio and magazine publishing. I'm uh, by education, I'm a guidance counselor. I majored in psychology. Uh, when I graduated, uh, there were no jobs in guidance counseling. There was a glut of guidance counselors at the time. <laughs> so I ended Baruch Hashem for that. <laughs> yeah, that's why everybody's so well adjusted to them, <laughs> you noticed. And uh, I ended up being a diamond dealer on 47th Street for uh, many, many years. Yes, a diamond so, dealer? I'm going to look at your wife's stone and then let her know exactly oh, what it is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Wait, it's your side. <laughs> She might, be surp- she might be surprised. <laughs> and uh, I did that for many years. And then, interestingly enough, I met Larry Gordon. Now, Larry yeah. Gordon is the publisher now of That's the Five right. Towns Five Jewish, Town Jewish Journal. Times. He was doing the morning show for many years on Uppsala College. That's right. Before Nachum Siegel was there. He before, was the so ori- this is the 80s. He was the originator, I think in the 70s even. Wow, down there in that parking lot, all the way at the end of that parking lot. Uppsala that little College, building, yeah. Building. But, I was in there once. Yeah. Right Oh, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't call you to uh, sit in for him. But uh, he ended up interviewing me because we, we put out our uh, Country Yossi album at that time. And, right. Uh, I said, you know, this is interesting. I, I don't so mind. you had put out your first album. Yeah. That was the chant was on the first album or the yeah, Strikes Back? the first one. It was on yeah. the first album. Yes. So he called me to interview me and we did it. And uh, I said, this is a nice way to it's make fun. a living. You know, he said, yeah, would you want to sit in for me sometime? I said, yeah. Oh, Next time you want to take off, give me a call. A few weeks later, he gave me a call. I sat in, did the show. We did it out of uh, Smyrna Avenue in Staten Island at that time. And uh, it was fun, but I was very subdued. Hi, thank you for calling. You know, it wasn't the persona <laughs> I developed once I got more experience. It's Givaldi, unbelievable. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. You got it right. You win a prize. Junk from my trunk, you know. That was, that came did later. you bring any junk from the trunk? I do, if you want All to right. come out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you, I'm, I'm nervous about the questions you're going to ask me. You know, you ah, know, I, this is some Shilas. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Remember, Are this you allowed to spit on Hubble's. the grass on Shabbos? Are you allowed to what? Spit on the grass. You're putting me on the spot That's here. That's a famous question. I always ask people. And <laughs> I don't know. And I want choices. Yes. I want no, choices. Maybe. They want choices. They love Hesh choices. isn't here, so what are we going to do? I don't know. You'll have to laugh instead of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, so, wait, uh, we, so once over, we're leaving the audience with a question here. What? So let us put on the grass. Uh, if I had to guess, uh, I don't know. I'm going to make him. Uh, yeah. I'd say yes. Uh-oh. Surely, what do you Surely, say? Uh-oh, Surely's being put in the spot here. Yeah, he he's doesn't. Take, but he doesn't have a mic, so he's off the hook here. You could just shake your head. Yes or no? He no. says no. He he's says, right. Surely's oh! right. Ding, 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 ding. You're ding, wrong. Ding. Ah, Give him the bell. Ah. Give him the bell. Give him two slices of pizza and a free Coke from Omnons. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll take it up. <laughs> I'll take it up. <laughs> And uh, so uh, that started my radio career. Then I started the magazine career because people said, I don't want to advertise on the radio. Radio is not our thing. A lot of uh, Hasidic people didn't even listen to radio. But magazine, printing, yeah, they used to do print advertising. I said, I'll start a magazine. So I started the magazine, and that Baruch Hashem took off. That's amazing. Did that for 32 years. 32 years. And one thing led to the other. So now let's go back because I, 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 what, what's, what's, so enjoyable to have you in studio is you play music you can i know you, you know multi-talented where d- describe as you're growing up like you know the talents i'm not going to ask you you know what you got in school if, if you behave zero, you got zero, zero in school well i i that you share that on your own you know this is this is i Heart radio you no, know there's nothing okay. creative in school <laughs> you know but then when when did you notice that the talents and then not being fra- afraid of 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 what people may think and just you know a- as your career continued to evolve and just like you know because you're clearly very comfortable in your space that's something that's just a a a uh, it's something that's so fantastic about you're comfortable in your space. Well, I always How had a good sense of, I always had a good sense of humor. Okay, I used to make jokes and share, and I used to get thrown out a lot. You know, uh, uh, Rebbe was talking, and I would come up with some wisecrack or something, and dive, dive out, out. Uh, I went to the principal. He said, "How did you uh, get back and teach him the tricks?" There are some kids that listen too. What the, the trick to what getting to back getting in? back into class? Uh, I got in a few times, but at one point the principal told me, uh, "Dive, you know how to get to uh, Torvadas?" I go, "Yeah." He says, "Go there." <laughs> <laughs> so you're not going to identify where you were. No. Right. no. It's on they, the album. I think there's one They'd rather made. not. Yeah, okay. Well, I went to Lubavitch in the beginning in elementary school. Then I ended up in Chaim Berlin. Mm-hmm. And uh, so that was basically my background. But uh, they prefer I don't mention it uh, usually. So, but Okay, yeah. So no one's listening, right? No, 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 no What no are you talking listening. about? Okay. So uh, 50,000 Hamishes. I used to uh, start writing parodies of country music. Johnny Cash was popular okay. at that time. Yeah. Of course, I'm a Jew. I do that too. He, uh, yeah. you know, so I started writing that kind of stuff. But I didn't do anything with it. I just had it in the drawer, and uh, I saved them up over the years. I saved up a lot of songs, and at that point, there was a fortuitous meeting with Heshi Wolfish. That's he had an orchestra, the Messengers Orchestra, and I got friendly with him. And uh, he says, uh, you know, do you write? Do you, do you have any songs that you've written? Because I told him, I'm, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. He says, let's hear them. So I dug out all my songs. Right. I started playing them for him. He says, this is great. We should, hey, wait, which we, of course they are. We should make a record. Okay, well, what, what should we call it? Uh, so we, country Yossi. It's a country parodies. Yeah, right. So we call it Country Yossi and the Stiebel Hoppers. They came up with the word Stiebel Hoppers. <laughs> and we put out that first album and it yeah. took off. Wow. And it was amazingly, it was popular among the Heimisch Eilam. Because they never heard the originals right. of all those songs. Right. So, a matter of fact, years later, people would stop me in the street. You know, Kenny Rogers stole your song. <laughs> That's good. Johnny Cash is recording your song. Do you know that? <laughs> so, I had to explain to them uh, it's the other way around. It's Ben Hapachu. Ben Hapachu. So, uh, that's when the uh, career started. They ended up leaving the diamond business because the, okay. the radio show and took the off. magazine took off. So, when, how did our Chodesh play in here? Oh, the Orchadosh was the original. Uh, that was uh, even before Hesh? Yeah. Before that Hesh. was when I was in Shor Yoshev. So maybe you could talk about that. Yes. Shmobis if the Chaim Berlin, Berlin came, Shor Yoshev with Shlomo Freifeld. Wow. So I met Shmelki Brazil, was my roommate. Talk about fortuitous Wow, he was your happened. roommate. My roommate. Regesh, all roommates, that, yeah. Shmelki Brazil, they just threw us together. Shmelki happened to play guitar. Okay. So guitar was always laying around, and he used to play nicely. I remember when he composed Schmelke's Nig and he came running from the street humming the song. He composed right. it while he was walking home from Yeshiva. And grabbed the guitar and started figuring out the chords. <laughs> and then he figured out the chords and uh, that's where Schmelke's Nigger was born. By the way, we have such a wide range of listeners and there are so many and we, we get great feedback all the time. The obvious question I'd love to capture even right now and... Um, and um, if a great idea comes to mind, a song, a concept, anything, what's your recommendation to like put the genie in the bottle? 
capture it. Immediately grab your cell phone, voice memo, and sing it into your voice memo. Because by the time you get home, you can forget, if you don't sing it continuously. I've had you know I've written songs right on the road. Oh my, I'm in the car with no tape recorder <laughs> before these cell phones. You start honking, you start the making people crazy. Out, get out of my way, I gotta <laughs> get home. Da, 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 da. <laughs> so you gotta tape it down. Great and advice. what's very important capture to capture it. Yeah. What's uh, captured. What's very important to realize is not every song you write is great. You know? Some people think that uh, if they write a song, you have to record it. Right. It's, it's gonna be a hit. Right. A lot of times I compose a song, spend hours working on it, listen to it the next day. Not that great. Why well, I wasted my time. So I think that's a very important point is don't rush into things. You have to let things gel. Any business decision, I'm sure right, you've told right. the people that. Think it over overnight, discuss it with people, don't right. rush. Right, right, right. Let it let it ferment. Right. It's a, I call it a a, a a seed. You know, it's just a seed in the ground. It's right. a seed. Some take root, some will grow into a big tree, exactly. some will go nowhere. Right. But it's right now or or, or I call it um, you know, just wet clay. It's wet clay. It's just let, let right. it let it and, and but then nurture it, give it give it attention because it may turn into something amazing. But if it doesn't, but there's another point that you just brought up is that a person shouldn't get frustrated if they have some ideas and they're not great. That doesn't mean they won't come up with a winner. They just got to stay at it. That's right. A rose grows among the thorns and there's a lot of stuff that has to be discarded before you find that one, that one hit. My guest is Yassi Taif. Many people will know the name Yassi Taif, but they certainly will know Country Yassi. Um, we're going to take a short commercial break. I was like, you would say, we got to get some business done. How did you yeah. say that? We got to take care of some business. Yeah. And uh, we'll be right back here on 710 WOR. My guest, my amazing guest in studio is none other than Country Yussi. Chalent, Chalent, Cha 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 Chalent. It's, oh, Chalent. it's Sunday night. Oh, Sunday night. So well, the, now, first over Chalent is not it's too bad. It's Gavaldi. It's right? Gavaldi. Now, wait a second. Tell us the truth. Do you have chalent like every day? I mean, if people are gonna, I'm sure I asked you this question. What are some of the questions that people have asked you for years? Well, one the of them's got to be chalent, right? If you That's the secret. Every breakfast. morning, instead of a multivitamin, I have a spoonful <laughs> of chalent. <laughs> now you got to the. Now I understand now, where yes the talent comes from. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> what are other some of the questions that you get stopped all the time throughout the years? Well, people want to know uh, where the name Country Yossi comes from. What does it mean? Uh, why is it? Why did you call yourself Country Yossi? And the truth is, I'm up in the country, and we did a radio show up there for many, many years. So besides the country parodies, which <laughs> I use, so that's one question. Did anyone ever come over like, you know, there's a, with a great gr gematria or something like that? Like, yeah, did you know it stands for Mashiach? Ben sure. Uh, yes, yeah, so all the time I get stopped in, uh, in Borough Park, there's people like roaming the streets there, we, you know, spouting gematrias. So, <laughs> It's always very interesting. By the way, Dove Shern, we got to give a oh, shout out to him. Right? By the way, that interview at four in the morning. Right? Isn't that, oh. that's funny. We have a, a oh. CD called Classic Calls for those of you out there that have never heard the show. As a matter of fact, I think it's like a good oh, yeah, yeah. You play know a little what? sample. Let's go to a sample of the Classic Call. This was really, if not my favorite, definitely from the top five favorites. Really, let's, 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 let's give a listen. It's country, country, yassi. Well, maybe Entel didn't know too much about Fiedhesh, but that was nothing compared to Baylor from Borough Park, who had no idea what her nemesis was. <laughs> or what? Her nemesis. <laughs> Did she ever figure it out? <laughs> Let's listen and find out. What is a nemesis? What is that? Oh, no. Can I have a choice, please? Nemesis. It's a disease. Suffering from nemesis. Why <laughs> <laughs> my nemesis? <laughs> Or nemesis. <laughs> is it indentation under your nose, on your lip, your upper lip? People have an indentation. Would a malach give you a shot so you forgot your learning? Mm -hmm. That's called a nemesis. The official name of that is called a nemesis. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Or was the USS Nemesis a big aircraft carrier that sank in Pearl Harbor? Oh, they sank the nemesis. <laughs> um, I'll All right, I'm, not, I'm not finished with the choices yet. <laughs> nemesis means uh, your opponent, your enemy is your nemesis. Or is nemesis actually just the reverse of the word sisamen, <laughs> a Hungarian word which means 
banana pudding. Give me some more sisan then. You know, Pelatekno. From those four choices, which one is correct? It's a reverse reading of a Hungarian word for... Okay, that's out. That's out. Not <laughs> sis in it. That's like out. Out. Yes. Is it the opponent? Is it a ship? An aircraft carrier? Is it a disease? Or the little indentation on your upper lip? It's either that or a, what's that the third choice? I got a pimple on my nemesis. <laughs> Or what's the fourth choice? The third. The third choice. I could be confused there. It's the USS Nemesis, a ship that was sunk in Pearl Harbor in 1948. This was six years after the war. <laughs> Nobody knows why. Okay, I'll say number two. What's number two? What's the answer to number two? I that thing under the whatever. The little indentation under your nose? Uh, well, I'll try. You call that your nemesis? I don't know. <laughs> This is a weird question. It is not. It's a legitimate question. Okay. So you're saying the little indentation, when a malach hit you, he hit you right in the nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just paraphrasing what, you, what, you, what you're telling me. Am I right? I don't know. Which. We'll try. We'll give it a try. My husband has a mustache covering his nemesis. <laughs> I don't know. Is it number sounds, three? Sounds pretty ridiculous. She's moving on to number three now. <laughs> Something to sound ridiculous, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you never heard anybody call it their nemesis. No. Number three? Number three. USS aircraft carrier sunk in the South Pacific in World War II. <laughs> never they sunk the nemesis. Oh, forget it. When, oh, Roosevelt, heard, when Roosevelt heard that, he got upset. They sunk what? The nemesis? Could you give me the choices once more? Again, let's hear all four choices. Oh, goodness. Yes. <laughs> It's... The Hungarian word for banana pudding backwards. Okay, you that out. That's out again. She still refuses to acknowledge that as a possibility. Let me give you three more choices. Uh, new choices. How about a new question? A new question. Never. This is like too much. Why don't you have like a dictionary in the meantime? Yeah, right. <laughs> Country, here's the question I, I, I just have to ask. Is that how, how do you prepare for something like this? I mean, this is it was amazing radio. We all grew up on this. You know, these questions weren't really prepared in advance. Wow. Uh, I got a caller. I started making up questions, making up, uh, as you heard, making up possible answers, and just rolled with their responses. And, just roll. and the role, and, and no pun intended, the role of Hesh, of, of Heshi Wolf. Heshi yeah. was a tremendous asset to the show, besides the technical expertise that yeah. he brought and yeah. the musical expertise he brought to right. everything. So, uh, you know, he's a multi talented uh, genius. But his laughter was the one that people loved the most. Right. Oh, the way he laughs. Right, and it carried. What people have to a, a, a takeaway here is that the the extra what we call the dressings, the trimmings. Right, they make it's like let's say in, in camp, right? If you had a, a play, if there was scenery or no scenery, it would make a big difference. Right, or if there's sound or no yeah. sound. So having him, you know, laugh along and right. making his sounds and everything. Right, that, yeah, that, that's, 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 that's an important. integral part of the show. Yeah, color commentary. You have it in baseball games. You have you know one person who's calling the plays, another person who's adding color right. commentary. Do you miss having not having somebody alongside you when you do your broadcast? Talk to to get feedback from. Hey, Hesh. Uh, Hesh. <laughs> Hesh is <Country>. available. Hesh is <laughs> available. <laughs> Um, let's go back to the, um, to the uh, in, in, importance of people out there. There, there is, you know, listen, uh, God, ga God gave everyone a certain amount of talent. And there's a lot of people out there with a lot of talent. Talent on loan from God. Talent on loan from God. Oh, right. That's right. <laughs> Now, he, the, 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 but there are people out there that might be a little uncomfortable, like crawling out of their space. Like, what are people going to think of me? What's the now, now, again? You mean not, low self-esteem kind of thing? Is that yeah, like what? What could you give to the, a, a a tip that would give encouragement to people out there that have talent and want to want to express it? Well, you know, country Yossi starts with C Y. Yeah. Another thing we can say C Y stands for is create yourself. Nice. You have to create yourself. Don't let anybody try to mold you into something that they want you to be. You have to be what you are intended to be, what Hashem wanted you to be. And of course, that's to fulfill your entire potential as you grow up. But you have to be stolz. You know what stolz yeah. in Yiddish? Yeah. You have to be backbone. strong. Backbone. Keep trying for it. Don't give up. 
no matter how many failures. You're not a failure till you don't get up. You can get knocked down many times in a fight, but if you get up, you're still in the fight, still in the battle. You got to keep trying. Uh, I was trying to sell radio in the beginning. That didn't work, so I switched to a magazine. Mm. You got to be flexible. You got to, you know, maneuver around. Then the radio picked up because the magazine started getting popular, so one thing feeds off the right. other. You have to be uh, willing to try new things and not to be afraid. It's a great point that, that to also not be afraid of failure. A exactly. lot of people are like, well, what are they going to think of me yeah. if it's just not going to work out? Right. So they, they don't even try. Exactly. You've got, got to be able to jump in. I had a terrible fear of public speaking when I was in college. Really? Yeah. That was the, and it's, that's the number one fear of people in the United yeah, States. Right, I heard fear that. Fear right, of public they, speaking. You know, I had to get up and say my name, and uh, I was, I, my heart was pounding out of my chest. And not just me. Everybody in the class felt the same way. And now you tell me I'd end up on the radio talking right, to thousands like, of people. Right. How does that make sense? 50,000 Hamishes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we remember all Another the lines. Another half a million not so Hamish. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's tonight. Um, let's just hold on to, to talent for another minute or two because there are a lot of talented people out there and they need that, uh, we'll call it chizik. They yeah. need that, 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 that extra push. That right. like, they could be comfortable. They could try something. Well, what are some other tips you would recommend if someone has talent you know, not to give up, express it, he grab learned, that guitar. Yes, exactly, with the guitar. People pick up the guitar and, and try to learn guitar. Then it hurts their fingers, so they give up. Hmm. You have to get past that initial discomfort in a new endeavor. Eventually, you're going to get calluses on your fingers, and you won't feel anything. <laughs> Everybody that plays guitar has calluses on their fingertips, and... That's how you learn how to play guitar. Mm. So, yes, it's going to hurt in the beginning, but don't give up. That's the key. Learning how to play guitar is a life changer. Yeah. That could change your life if you had that talent. Suddenly you're the center of attention. You had a life of the party. All you have to learn is three chords. You could play 100 Kalbach songs with three chords. And everybody has different talents. Not everything is musical talent. Not everything is radio talent. Right. You could be a genius, a uh, technical genius like Surly here. Right, that's everybody right. Has, everybody has their own talent that they have to nurture, figure out what it is, and use it to improve themselves. Did you play um, guitar at events, chasanas, and or? It was yeah, I wasn't a professional guitar player. I just used it basically to compose songs, write songs. But I play at family, at family simchas, you know. But I don't go out there playing at, uh, you know. I'm not a Yossi Piamenta. Now I, I have to give a shout out. There's someone here, um, Elio Ler, the VP of Operations, who said he does an amazing Kiwi and Tuki impression. So I got to make sure that to get a. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wants to make sure that it, get, it passes muster with yeah, you. Yeah, he can talk like that. Oh my god! <laughs> now let's talk about that. You you were producing Country Yossi, the albums, amazing albums. I'm sure they sold you know tens of thousands. Tens of, at least. And then you expanded the horizon to include children's albums. Can you talk about what was the aha moment when you decided to uh, expand into that? Into right. That so we had the Country Yossi albums, which were big right. successes. And then one uh, night, I, you know, I love telling stories to my grandchildren. I yeah. said, you know, why don't we make a, a CD with songs for kids? And I bounced it off Heshi, and he says, that's a great idea. Let's do it. So, you know, I sit down with a legal pad and I started writing, uh, you know, Kiwi and Tuki songs and uh, the dialogue started developing. Right. And once you got the characters going, then just it writes flows. itself. Just where should I take it this album, you know? But the hard part is getting over that initial hump, you know, who are right. these characters? What's their chain? Now we introduce Kaylee, you know, the, the, yeah. you know little girl yeah. into yeah. it. So, you know, you keep adding things, and we're working on another Kiwi and Tuki album now. Hey! Number yes. six. That's amazing. Yeah, yes. What's the uh, projected release date? Uh, I'm not sure we're working on it at a little slower pace now, but uh, at this point, Kiwi and Tuki could be either uh, getting by mitzvah or, or getting married, really. Uh. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so and, They've been and around that long, yeah. And you're projecting this is a Hanukkah release? No, uh, no, so not that soon. No, we're still working on the songs. But as they come up, we put them up on YouTube. You know, people can buy them as a single. We have uh, 
that new song that we came out with, uh, Now, 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 that's up there already. So if they go to YouTube and put in Country LC, they're going to find a lot of stuff up there. Right, Shirley? Now, you know, by the way, turning to Shirley, um, after we're going to take a commercial break, but right after... I want to come back to um, you know what you've been doing during Corona, you know, lockdown, oh, yeah. and that's yeah. So uh, we're going to hear about that. Thank you so much for joining me for tonight's show, the Vina Hapa Show. Yay! It's a couple of days after Purim. Yay. We can get away with a lot. Um, that's not the only reason why we wanted to have Country Ussie. We wanted to have someone that's a world of talent and someone who's extremely accomplished and is willing to share tips and information. That's what every show is about each week. It's sharing tips to get you ahead. He already shared a couple of tips. So um, if you just tuned in, where were you? Okay, but good news, good news. As the listeners know, the show goes up on all the popular podcasting channels. You listen on Spotify? Gesundheit, hate. Keep it on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, all the famous channels, it will be up by Tuesday morning. And... For those that follow us on YouTube, by the way, if you subscribe on YouTube, you'll automatically be no- notified. Our channel on YouTube, 710 WOR Mind Your Business. Again, 710 WOR Mind Your Business on YouTube and just subscribe because then when this episode goes up, you'll automatically be notified. Country, it's been a, uh, it's now roughly a year, close to a year since the mm-hmm. pandemic. Rahman al Um hit. <clears throat> a lot of takeaways. You know, for you know, for some, you know, Nebuch was it was devastating. For others, they had time to think and reflect. Uh, you have some reflection on the past year. Well, with all the time now available, people locked up in their homes. Uh, I suggest people uh, take up a creative endeavor. Now's a good time to learn how to play piano. Good time to learn how to play guitar. Uh, I've been spending time, besides uh, listening to a lot of Shiurim on Torah anytime. Hey, it's great. And listening to Rabbi Moshe Mayer Weiss. That's right. Uh, Amazing. Uh, I have time for uh, writing uh, the new Kivi and Tuki album and uh, spending a lot of time trying to improve my musical abilities. To improve? Yes, I told you I'm not a professional musician, but uh, I'm working on it. That you're still working on There's it. There's a lot of chords you, you, out there I still can't play. I have to remind you, you put out <laughs> many albums. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite accomplished. Yeah, we have like 15, 16 albums out there. So over the years, we've accomplished quite a lot. But now that we're locked up in the house, like many other people, it's really a good time. You know, you can't get away usually. You have uh, parties to go yeah. to and yeah. uh, all kinds of simchas, uh, baruch Hashem. But now That's that right. they're uh, minimizing uh, participation in those things, it's uh, it's a good time to, uh, to work on yourself. You know, one takeaway that I just would lo- I'd love to share with the audience you know, great people are, are, are humble. You know, look, out, look at the humility country is sharing. You know, he's still learning how to do things. You know, for oh, for that. sure. I mean. And great people are always learning. That's true. It's great a good people point. people are always learning. The ones they say, that, you know, when, when, you, you, when a person says, oh, I know it all right, then that's ah, the time they're yeah. done. That toast. <laughs> exactly. That toast. They have to constantly, I could constantly improve the greatest uh, right. Always have that mindset. Mm-hmm. But with this uh, coronavirus, you know, yeah. sometimes I say I'm sick of this already. I, I can't keep wearing well, I this. I hope you're not sick of it. No, uh, not okay, sick yeah, of yeah, it, yeah, just not, not uh, fed not up with it. Not sick with it. Yeah, sick fed of up it. with it. Fed up with it. So yeah. I wear the mask when I go everywhere. You know, you have to wear the mask. You got to take precautions. You got to social distance. But I ended up writing a song. See, I took that situation, this terrible uh aggravating right. situation and yeah. turned it into a positive by making a song about it which surely is going to play right oh, now oh yeah let's give a listen to quarantine I don't like the social distancing and no more of the six feet in between I don't want to have to stay at home I don't want to isolate I would like just once to see the face of the women that I date Ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-ka-
to send my kids all off to school I'm sick of looking at their faces I just want to zoom off in my car and go to all those non-essential places This corona is a nasty bug I'll be so happy when it goes I don't want to have to disinfect every single time I blow my nose Ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-ca-
So he had to be there in the morning. I, yeah, what are you going to do on the Belt Parkway? Yeah. And there's Nebuch, there's some right. what crash, do? whatever. What and he was, a tech, he was the technician in right. charge of everything. That's Without it. him, there's no show. So uh, that was tough. He had to allow an extra half hour, 45 minutes in Trial. the morning to get there. But uh, once I had to do a show up in the country, but I went on vacation. We went to uh, Chvez, uh, Virginia, okay. wherever it was. Okay. And I had to do it over the phone. Okay. I called in. And there was no signal in the motel I was staying in. There was no signal. <laughs> I'm driving around. Everybody was dropped everybody off. I got in the car and I'm right. dr driving around trying to. That was before a, cell phones. No, no, I oh, was you had a cell phone. I'm okay. looking for a signal. I couldn't get any. Oh, I had one bar. You know, it's not right. enough to right. get to, to, a clear to carry. Right. right. After a half hour driving around, I finally got a decent signal. So I pulled over along the side next to an iron gate and I pulled in and I start doing the show. Oh, this country has a lot of yeah, money. Yeah, no one knows right. where I am, you know. That's right. About 15 minutes into the show, I get surrounded by three police cars with oh, the lights on. <laughs> get out of the car. Hands up. Hands up. <laughs> Exit the vehicle. So what am I doing wrong? They don't like the show? <laughs> This show? I get it's out of the car with my hands up. I'm I'm on the air. I said, uh, "Okay, uh, Frankie, play some music while I'm on the air. Play uh, the Chellen song." <laughs> so he's playing music, and I said, "What?" He says, "You're in a restricted military zone. What are you doing here?" Wow. I said, uh, "I don't know. I, didn't uh, know. I, I got a know. signal on my phone. <laughs> Let me see your license and everything." And wow. uh, I gave him the phone. I said, "Look, I'm on the air. Hear the Chellen song. <laughs> Give it to the cop to listen to." <laughs> He said, get out of here. Don't come back. So they, 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 they let, let me you go. go. But I had no signal then. And then the rest of the they show was played finished. music and that was the end of it. Yeah, they played six more songs and the show was <laughs> and over. And that was it. But uh, that was one uh, scary situation. One not so funny situation was I was in Borough Park. I went into a jewelry store to collect some money they owed me for advertising. Okay. As I walk in, the guy looks at me and he shakes his head like, not today. I said, oh, you had a bad day, huh? He stopped what he was doing, looks at me. He says, a bad day? Every day's a good day. I haven't had a bad day since I was liberated from Auschwitz. Some days are better than others, but every day is good. Mm. So I left that store without any money that day, but that was a, message, a good lesson. The message. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What earlier in the show we talked about not being afraid of setbacks. Are, are, are is there maybe a case or something that comes to mind or or something that that you know that you could share that like you know you worked on something and it didn't pan out or it didn't pan out the way you envisioned it, but then you know it just led to something else. It led to another opportunity. Yeah, like one never knows where one is headed. Yeah. You could start out in a certain direction and get blocked and go in another direction and think, oh, Yvay, if only I could have stayed there. No, Hashem had plans for you to go there. The radio wasn't working out. The magazine came along. Right. That turned into something even better. So you never know where you're going to end up, but the key, the key is to keep moving, keep trying, keep going. Never give up. That's the lesson. You still keep up with uh, Shmuel Brazil? Oh, Shmuel, we're, we're Brazil now is a Rosh Hashiva right, that's right. in uh, Givad Zev in Eretz Yisrael. Right. So uh, our paths don't cross that much, but we had a Shoyashiv reunion a couple of years ago that he came in for. All the old guys from the original, wow. uh, there was originally 10 guys in Shoyashiv when we first started. Rabbi Freifeld handpicked like 10 guys from Chaim wow. Berlin, Beis Medrash, to start the Yeshiva. And that developed into the big campus they have now, and there's uh, thousands of Talmudim coming out of Shah Yeshu now. But uh, I was one of the original ones with a very close Kesha with Rabbi Freifeld. Right. And at the time, I think that the uh, Mishpacha did a piece on that. If I'm yeah, not I wrote mistaken. a special song about it. There's a very special man about Rip Schleimer. Yeah, t talk about it. He was, he was such a, a master machana. Rip Schleimer was, first of all, he was physically imposing. He was like 6'2. If you pictured Schleimer Hamelech, that's what he would look like. Wow. He had a big black beard back in those days and a big giant hat. I used to drive him to uh, Williamsburg sometimes. He asked me to drive him uh, okay. to different places. A funny story with Rip Schleimer. I was driving up Rockaway Turnpike. I had a very old car, okay. like a 76 Chevy, and there's a lot of smoke coming out the back. <laughs> so I'm riding up Rockaway Turnpike. A cop 
pulls me <laughs> over. I said, I wasn't speeding. This car can't go that fast. Why do you give me? And Rich Lemon sitting right next to me. He says, what? I said, why do you give me a ticket for? He says, you have a smoking vehicle. I said, officer, this car's old enough to smoke. <laughs> Rich Lemon went. <laughs> Rich Lemon was line. apoplectic. He couldn't stop laughing all the way to uh, Big Eliza's Farm Store. <laughs> In Williamsburg. Then we went to uh, Bencraft. He, he got his house at Bencraft in Williamsburg in those days. And uh, we drove in there. We went into the Bencraft. The guy says, Rabbi, I got you the biggest hat I could find. And he gave him this gigantic. Bigger than what you're wearing now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's where I got the idea to wear this. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The Schlem was unbelievable. I mean, he made learning Mishnayis into an adventure. The fever in the early days, the early years, was unbelievable. We all fit into one house and one room, you know. Every Purim, every Yantif we shared together was unbelievable. How important! Now, I I I learned by the uh, by the great Rav David Trank, that's all, and 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 there are some sim- similarities that I've I've picked up from you know speaking to people about Rosh Hashanah Feifel. How important is it for a a machanach, a teacher, anyone out there? To to actually be a performer, to put it like that, to have to have great to have great communication skills. Well, having charisma is a a big plus for a mechanic. Uh He has to imbue the students with a love of learning. Everybody loved Reb Shlaima. Everybody wanted to please Reb Shlaima. He was like a father to everybody. Yeah. It was like unbelievable the, the 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 relationship that he had with everybody because he's. Interest, really interested in your life story. He used to call me over. Tell me about, you know, tell me about yourself. Wow. And But he had other people that came later on that had much more interesting lifestyles than I had. This guy was a farmer in Montana. This, and they, <laughs> uh, they were, you know, they were Balchivas. Bob Dylan came once. There was a wedding there from some one of these Balchivas. And okay. he was friendly with Bob Dylan and Alan and Ginsberg. Came. There was a famous poet, Alan right. Ginsberg. Yeah. They came to the yeshiva one night, and they and he became a shtickle frimmer at that time, uh, Bob wow. Dylan. Wow. But, uh, you know, he was a flake. He still is. But, uh, yeah, he, Reb Shlem attracted people from all walks of life. And everybody, he was open to everybody. He said everybody had a certain talent. Everybody had a certain chain that they had to develop. And the main thing was he wants you to believe yourself, believe in yourself. And he said his main thing was, he quoted Shakespeare to me all the time, to thine own self be true, he said. That's the main thing, to thine own self be true. So do you feel that he actually was, was maybe the primary individual 100%. that really helped, helped, helped you develop? Everybody, I encourage every bachar out there to find a Rebbe that he can relate to. And of course, that's going to change your life. Wow. Wow. We're approaching the close, and we have this uh, new feature as we join 710 WOR, and that is that each guest shares a great tip that has to do with their initials. Now, in your case, I mean, you know, CY for country Yossi, or Yossi Taiv, or maybe all three, or just one, <laughs> I'll leave it to your creativity. Well, like I said before, CY was create yourself. Uh, you got to find... Dig, look deep inside yourself. Be true to yourself, like Reb Schleimer said, to thine own self, be true. Find out what your strengths are and pursue your goal without hesitation. Don't get weak. Just keep going for it because every yid is imbued by a Kodesh Baruch Hu with a certain talent. You have to find out what it is. And when you find it out, exploit it and use it. And use it for what? Not just to make money and not just to become famous. It's going to be the little kinderlach, not the rich man, the famous man, uh, the wealthy man. Yeah. Kinderlach are going to bring Mashiach with learning Torah. So uh, a lot of the songs I write are funny, but my favorite songs are the ones that what I call the Musa songs, TikTok songs. It's only make-believe songs about the essence of Yiddishkeit, what it means to be a Yid and to be a successful Yid at that. By successful, I don't mean monetarily or financially. I mean being all you can be, ruchniistic. So special, so special. Why do all good things have to come to an end? Well, We're out of time. It's oh, oh man, it was nice. Thank I, you so I, much you, for having me. Thank Yitzhak. you. It was very nice. There was a fortuitous and, thank you a meeting between me That's and you, right. and it turned into this. And That's who knows right. who, who's going to who's listening That's and how right. who, how many people are going to affect 
by what we said here tonight. That's and how did you end your shows? We're out of time. How did you end your shows? Remember, like, and no, we've been hot by the clock. Hot by the clock. <laughs> we've been hot. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we've been hot right. by the clock. It's uh, over. It's uh, over. It's and over. Then, and then that's it. The dun, station dun, would dun, cut dun, it to you. It's <laughs> over. But hot by the clock. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we've been hot by the clock. Well, that wraps up an amazing show here on 710 WOR and the iHeartRadio Network. Tune in again next Sunday night for another great edition of Mind Your Business right here on 710 WOR. Have a successful week. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to this channel and be notified every single time a new video goes live. Don't miss out on any of the weekly interviews that I have with top business leaders, sometimes Fortune 500 executives. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications.